Sky Squad, we are back in the building, and of course, I had to do a reaction to the Love and Marriage Huntsville super trailer that was just released, okay? It just would not be life if I did not do this review. So, we got to talk about it, okay? So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, run on over and hit that button and hit that notification bell button so you can be alerted when a new video drops. Now, let's get into it. Love and Marriage Huntsville returns to own this coming Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe. I'm super excited. This is considered season 4B, which is an extension of 4A, which went off earlier this summer. And so everybody has been like waiting and waiting and waiting. Now, many of us knew because we follow him on social media that Q, a.k.a. Funky Dineva, was in Huntsville at a certain point in time. But I wondered to myself, hmm, would that make the show? Because I also knew that he, I think, has family there, but I'm not necessarily sure. Don't quote me on that. But what I did know is he was in Huntsville at one point in time. So it's awesome to see him leading off this trailer. Fun fact for a lot of you guys who don't know, I literally consider him like a little big brother because he is really the person that really encouraged me to get on YouTube after my job in news moved to Orlando. And ever since then, it's been up and stuck. And so you always remember the people who give you guidance and who kind of put you on. And he's one of those types of people that will give you the shirt off of his back if he needs to help you. You know what I'm saying? That's just who he is. But I love the fact that they start this trailer off with him giving some advice to Letitia, basically calling her out about Miss Wanda and the things that Miss Wanda says and does on social media and on the show that really gets a lot of the a lot of the drama started. And basically he tells Letitia that she is complicit in her silence because she doesn't do anything to stop the drama and she continues to allow it to happen so that makes her equally as responsible and you know marceau is looking like uh and you better not be agreeing with something i've been trying to tell you all this time okay but he's really calling Letitia to the carpet about this and I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Letitia needs to do something about Miss Wanda? Or do you think that Miss Wanda has every right to say and do as she pleases? Because she is a grown woman. But as Q, aka Funky Daniva says in the video, you know, is it does it get to a point where you just can't have your mom around? Okay. Let me know in the chat what you guys think about that scene right there. All right, so now it's time to move on to... Remember last season, Melody told Kimmy that Melnika, who is apparently managing Martell, there was some scandal with, you know, her alleging that Melnika was into Martell or something and she backed out of planning the wedding and whatnot. Well, it's time for Kimmy to play Bone Collector, okay? She goes back and she tells this information to Letitia and to Destiny, now, you know that Destiny and Melody are not on the best of terms. And so Destiny then runs back to tell Martell exactly what Kimmy said that Melody said about Martell and Mel Nika. Okay. So the interesting thing is when Martell 
then has a conversation with Miss Melnika about this whole situation. Melnika does not really deny it. Now, Martel says something that indicates that, well, Melnika is married, which I, I wasn't quite sure about. But the other interesting thing is, you know, Monica is like, well, you're single and you can do whatever you want to do. And she kind of actually alludes to can't nobody, you know, tell her or dictate, you know, who she can or who she can't sleep with. Those were not her words verbatim, but she said something to that effect. It was interesting to me, and it could have been just because the trailer is, you know, a, tra a trailer is chopped and screwed. You know what I'm saying? So we don't always know if we're getting everything in the trailer. The trailer is meant to entice us. But I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, especially if she is married, in my opinion, I would be like that she knows that there is no way in H-E double hockey sticks that you and I have anything going on. But also Martel mentions that they did something in high school or something way back in the day. So apparently there was something that went on between Martel and Miss Melnika, but we just don't know um, when it stopped. Okay. And if it's still going now, they are alluding to it not being that way, but they don't quite deny it, which is kind of interesting to me. What do y'all think? Let me know in the chat down below. All right, so the next thing that we see is a conversation between Martel and Chris Fletcher. Now, this conversation harkens back to Remember when Miss Wanda confronted Marceau about being in Atlanta for however many hours or days he was supposedly there? And then when Letitia confronted him, he said that he was there with Chris Fletcher. Now, apparently, according to Miss Wanda, that Mar Marceau was somewhere near a hotel or a motel or something like that, right? Now, we don't really get that much of this conversation. Um, but what we do get is very interesting to me. We get Chris Fletcher indicating that he was there for about two hours with Marceau, but that leaves 22 hours that he was not there with Marceau. So in that 22 hours, we are left to wonder what exactly Marceau's whereabouts were during the period of time that he was allegedly in Atlanta and what he was doing there. So it seems like we're back to this moment with Miss Wanda and her questions really trying to get the tea on what's going on. And now that Chris Fletcher is talking, it's making us wonder even more. So the next thing we got is really something that feels kind of heart wrenching. And that is this idea that there is something going on with Kimmy health wise. We see her family visiting with her and we see Maurice is holding her hand and what looks to be some type of bandage on her upper chest area. We also get a scene where she actually is cutting her hair and she says, this part is my choice. Now, I, I don't like to ever speak on or speak a situation into someone's life when I don't necessarily know what it could be. But there obviously is something going on health wise here, but we are going to have to wait and see how this plays out. Next, we get this scene with Letitia asking Marceau to come with her to therapy. And of course, Marceau does not want to go to therapy. I don't know what is going on with him and the non therapy and whatnot and why he like, is it, is it, is it the, the stereotypical, like 
uh, like idea of a black man or a black person not necessarily understanding or wanting to go to therapy. What is it? Y'all let me know. So then we get this scene with Melody and Martell on what looks to be a vacation. And we do know that they did vacation together at some point in time this summer. I'm assuming along with Melody's mom and the kids from what I hear. But in this conversation, Martell is admitting, you know, to many of his wrongs and how he should have been pointing the finger at himself. And the situation is looking so positive. As you guys can see, Mel here is, you know, she's smiling. She's saying how she receives what he's telling her. And it just kind of makes you wonder, where did things go wrong? Like, if they were, I mean, it seems like they were co-parenting so well based on what we had been hearing about this vacation. And then it seems like things took a very hard left some point in time after the vacation. So I'm just kind of wondering like what happened, what went wrong, but we do get a nice little scene of the two of them together, but we do know that this is not gonna last for very long. So the next scene we see is Destiny working out with Martell. And in this scene is very interesting because she brings up Martell's new rumored boo. Now the boo that we know about is Sheree. But the picture that they actually put on the screen is of Kim Zosiak. It is as though they are not allowed to use Sheree's image, but I could have swore I saw her image being used in another promo. But now all we see is Kim Zosiak. And I'm thinking to myself, we're of course not led to believe that this boo is Kim Zosiak. I'm assuming Bravo said, no ma'am, Pam, that which she was on for the nightcap was for promo and this is actually going to be on the season so she belongs exclusively to bravo so she does not have any rights to be featured on own that is what i believe happened in this shot right here and is the reason why we are seeing kim zosiak instead of sheree whitfield and of course, what would Love and Marriage Huntsville be without our obligatory Melody and Martell confrontation? At this point in time, she's revealing that he is trying to contact her, talking about how he wants to get back together with her. He's claiming that she's lying and he's moved on and whatnot and woo de woo. And of course, again, it would not be Love and Marriage Huntsville if we did not get a Melody and Martell face off despite the fact that earlier in the trailer we saw what looked to be an amazing get along for the two of them but as we know right now they are currently battling it out over custody of the kids in what appears to be a very vicious public display of like i don't even know what to call it at this point but they are going at it on social media and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon. So this season of Love and Marriage Huntsville looks like it's going to be lit. So I thought I would just do like a little mini, re a mini recap of the trailer to get us excited about the new season. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and how you think things are going to play out on this season of Love and Marriage Huntsville.